I was talking about relationships yesterday and how they, re they truly are our greatest teacher and kind of what I've taken from my big pivotal relationships. Um, and what I was reflecting on, not just in conversation, but after was that I really got deeply affected by the isolation of COVID. I live by myself and I am someone who physical touch is one of my tenets of life. So in that really degraded place, I mean, I really was degenerating pretty quickly. I reached out for whatever came along in terms of attention. And for me back then, it was specifically male attention because I was getting all of my fulfillment from the outside gaze being all by myself with a vacuum of a mind wasn't a really nice, his hospitable place to be. Enter a young man who I thought I was manipulating and having fun. Turns out he was much better at that game than me. And through our very dysfunctional, emotionally abusive relationship that I fed into 100%, I victimized myself like nobody's business. And that relationship brought me to a place of truly circling the drain. Um, I would believe that my low point was fully clothed out of my mind on booze and pills. And I hate pills, but I needed to escape this feeling of being persecuted by the person that I was supposedly very involved with and cherished me that I knew that the only safe place for me to go was my bathtub. And so I crawled fully dressed into that ceramic room and, and laid there at least surrounded. Um, I remember thinking like if I expire and my body lets go, at least I'll be contained in a vessel. I really needed the walls of the bathtub to hold me together quite literally. And shortly after that, I reached out for help because I knew that that was probably not the first of many. That's how badly I was looking to escape from myself. And yet the gift that that man gave me was he was the first one to call me a liar. And I would posture up and beg and say, what do you mean? I'm not lying. And I absolutely was. And he begged me for the truth. And I didn't even know what it was. I told the truth as I thought it was, but it was so decorated and manipulated and I had no idea what the truth was. I told it to the best of my ability with zero awareness. And that led me to a place of understanding that most of the ways that I had been living my life were lies. They were stories I had inherited. They were stories, they were myth, mythologies left over from my marriage. They were wishful intentions that I was trying to exhibit, but that I absolutely did not feel all the way through myself. Um, they were all of my wounds on the outside of my skin, primarily that I was looking to be fulfilled by a man for things that were completely wounded inside me and my own man. And that no one, no outside man could ever fail, could ever fail. So today I ask you to look back to that really dark night of the soul and maybe you're in it now. And not only do I have great empathy for that, but if you are willing to let yourself drown in that abyss and you trust yourself enough to know that you can come out the other side and build something real. Think about what you're taking apart is rotted and crumbling anyway. And what you're going to build, the foundation is rock solid. It's built on who you really are and who you've remembered yourself to be. So today I just send out blessings for anyone that's on that journey. The hero's journey is not an easy one. But if you have that inner drive to know, to know yourself, to understand 
humanity to understand the larger picture and how you fit into that. I stand right with you today because the learning doesn't stop. Those big lies that you uncover and you feel so triumphant, enjoy that plateau because now what happens is the little micro lies show up and they're not always easy to spot. So my blessings to you on this day. As we round out this year and look back over the year, what was the pivotal moment for you? Maybe it wasn't just stress. It usually is. It's usually a moment of crisis that causes transformation. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was triumph that fueled you to, to reach higher and no more. But whatever the, the spark, I give you every accolade to continue that discovery. Every day I learn something new and I'm just starting out. And I will see you tomorrow.